So I'm sorry to hear you've been having some fatigue, even some pain in your right. in your left hand. Correct. So actually, the doctor had me wear a splint, a thumb splint, to partially immobilize, pre prevent my thumb from moving too much, and that would help with some of the pain, kind of in this area, mm -hmm. because. Obviously, all the fingers connect all the way back in the elbow. So what I, I don't want to overgeneralize here, but I, what I've seen, I mean, I've seen so many people that, uh, that get into tendonitis trouble, and they will go to the doctor, and it will be similar, give them a splint or tell them not to play for a few weeks or even a month, right. something like that. Sometimes they go to PT and get some massage and things like that. Mm -hmm. And all that stuff is, is useful, right? Yes. But then they come back to the cello, and the cello was the reason for the tendonitis. And so they, not on purpose, but maybe they just don't know enough, they don't change their technique. What I'm wondering though, and maybe this discussion can help a lot of people today, is when you go back to the cello, you want to be able to say, in order to keep from getting tendonitis, I have to change the following in my playing. So do you know what it is in your actual technique, the way your left hand works that causes that? I just tend to be a very tense player, and I believe that's what has contributed yeah. to some of these I mean, issues. sort of in a way, I mean, everybody in the world will say they're a tense player, right? Well, when we right. get, when we, especially we, get, we want to play fast, we want to play loud, we get involved emotionally in the music, so we have to be able to do all of that. Um, so uh, before we started this lesson, we were talking about football, weren't we? Correct. <laughs> yes. Can you imagine somebody trying to throw the football when they were tight? Right? Yeah, that so, would not work. <laughs> yeah. So they have all of this power, right? right. And uh, maybe even more power when they're loose, right? Because right. things move slower and with more difficulty. So uh, that's a bit of an analogy. So that might help. So what's important on the cello is that you not keep your fingers tight across, mm -hmm. okay? So when you're on a first finger here, uh, just feel the, take your hand and feel my fingers, uh, the ones in the air. Yep. In the air, the ones oh, in the air. Gosh. They're, they're like spaghetti here. Oh yes, right here, yes. Right? Definitely like yeah. spaghetti. Okay, if I'm on my second finger now, what does my first finger feel like? Very loose. If I'm on my third finger, what do these two fingers feel like? They're very loose as yes. well. Yes. So the idea is that whenever we change fingers, we have to train our hand to release the old one. Okay. Let's try that. Just try one, two, three, four. Yeah. Do it without vibrato. Uh, that, that, that. Okay. Three and four. Yeah. I like to quote my old teacher, Janos Starker. He says that your fingers can be in, all your fingers can be in playing position, but only one finger is in playing tension. Okay. So what you want to do, I like to think of it this way. You have weight in the finger. The finger is like a hook, okay? And you're hanging your arm from it. And now you're going to turn your weight onto the second finger and the first finger goes limp. Now you're going to, and now you're hanging on your second finger. I'm going to turn your finger over to three, and then these fingers go loose. See if you can feel that. So wait, actually, before you do it, just can I take your hand? Sure. Just hang. Hang, let go. Feel your arm. Sandbaggy. That's it. Feel how much arm weight you've got there? Yep. Okay, so now make your finger like a hook and just hang. Just hang. That's it. Try and get that feeling in the back of, now on the fingerboard. Right. So what you want to do is you want to make a hook and hang your finger, but you don't have to be way down here to hang it. You can still be out here, right? So you can still have a good playing position, and that's good. And now if I come see how your thumb's not so tight. The other thing that will make your hand tight and cause tendonitis is if you start squeezing, pinch your first finger and thumb together. Does that feel at all familiar? 
very <laughs> actually know, very I familiar. To, right. Yes. So that's one of the things that you, you have to break that. Pretty good. Be careful to keep your don't squeeze up with your thumb too much. Right. Yeah. Does your hand feel looser? Yes, absolutely. It does, yeah. Yes. You, can you imagine training your hand that it works that way all oh, the time? I think that would yeah. relieve a lot of problems. So the other thing is you can make feel that your hand is squishy. Like tighten up all your fingers in the air, make everything tight. See how they're, it's tight across here mm -hmm. now? So that's one of the things we do. We hold our fingers in the air, do it the wrong way. Yeah, and you tighten up like that, and, you, and so now everything is under tension. Mm -hmm. So if you can release these fingers, feel squishy here, and now vibrate. Much healthier, huh? Absolutely. Yeah.